I should have brought my long lens. How are you? I'm Marlene McCohen. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are following this story, um, today is going to be a really big, big day. Did you hear that? That is the Amazon. Yeah, you're looking well. It's so early in the morning, not my forte. For those of you just tuning in, basically what happened is when I lost my bird, Picasso, somebody called me about a bird and asked me if it was mine because they wanted to help. Well, once I saw the photo, I knew it's not my bird, but I had a hunch they would need help. So I went over, I said, do you guys need any help? I'll gladly come over. They said, yes. I went over, gathered the bird. He was bleeding profusely. He hit his head. He had head trauma, thought he was gonna die. Bird, I thought bit me. Well, the bird did bite me. This is not my blood. The bird is choking on blood. So George was rushing it to hopefully take it to Lou because I trust Lou more than anything. We nursed him back to health with the help of Lou at Birds Plus. You doing all right? You're getting a little cleaned up? Okay. I cleaned him up a little bit. Do you look bad? My baby. No. You look better already, baby. I'm gonna get you situated, okay? What? He had um, had a problem flying and it hit the window. The reason why he had that problem was because he was already, uh, I guess he got E. coli and he was already off balance because E. coli will do that. And How does Lou know that? Well, he did a, he kind of felt like he wasn't eating. And so what he did is he, did, he had a friend do a test on him. Stop. Lou. Yes, my dear. The bird's on antibiotics? Yeah, Batril. How, how did you find that out? Cultured it up. He has made a full recovery, but we've discovered that he is in fact one of the wild Amazons that fly locally in the area. Yeah, that's an old bird, baby. Usually when they have the, the beak looking that way, when it's real narrow like that, yeah. they've been cleaning it off on, um, on the trees. Black on there, that's just not the blood. When their pyrocanthal berries are really in season, the red little flavors of tomatoes, they gorge themselves on them. It's a wild bird. With that knowledge, we can't just keep him, tame him, or breed him or anything like that. We really have to make sure that we set him back into the wild. For those of you who haven't been following the story, click below in the description box. You'll see the first episode in the rest of this series. But just to fill you in now on how we know this is a wild Amazon, some small little things. First of all, the beak was very thinned out from being in the wild for a very long time. Second of all, he had very black nostrils, which which is from eating the wild berries. This is over a long, long time. Lou at Birds Plus, he knew exactly that this is a wild Amazon. Oh my God, is he, what is he doing? What are you doing, baby? He seems a little playful this morning. What are you up to? Before we set him free, I wanna show you this side of his face. You see that beautiful yellow? You wanna play today? By the way, one last time before we go, uh oh. Okay. Well, he's flying around. Oh, that's great. Okay. This is good. We know that he can fly. Okay, let's go. Bye, birds. I hope I have my phone. Okay, I got my phone. Why is he have the van ready? Am I seriously getting in this right now? We're going to meet Carolyn. Um, you know what? Let's take, not the van. Let's take some uh, the SUV. Yes. It looks like we're taking this normal car now. You have the bird? He has the bird. Took us a moment to get him in the carry-on, but ultimately we had to grab him with a blanket because I didn't want him flying around and stressing himself out or hitting anything. Maybe you okay? Oh. The reason that we're doing this so early in the morning, by the way, is one, because the birds are calling each other this early, so he'll literally be able to recognize their sound and go meet the flock. And two, because we want him to have all day to be able to settle in and, you know, find his way with the flock. Now, Lou told me that even if he has like no friends, you know, has nobody to acclimate with, he will still find his way. Like even if he's kind of like the one out of the flock, he'll still be able to find his way with the rest of the birds there. Obviously, I can't let him loose where I found him because 
it could take him a very long time to ever find one of his kind. And he was disoriented when he was there, which is probably how he got very out of the area. I personally, in my area where he was found, have never ever come across a wild Amazon. But where we're going, we know that that's where the flocks call in the morning. We know that he is very well flighted and also he doesn't seem to be well acclimated to living in a house. Just, uh, I could see by his flight pattern, the things that he tried to land on. So that was actually kind of unfortunate that he got a little loose but it made me feel confident with the fact that he's gonna be flying free right now because I just grew up with birds my whole life and I know that like the things he tried to land on oh my god okay that's not a house bird this bird right now something occurred to me so he's a wild bird he grew up in the wild and then like he's gonna go in the wild and I'm looking at him in this moment of time when he's been in my house and when he returns to his people he could go back and tell the other birds like so listen there's other birds in their houses and they have cages and the birds think it's okay and I saw the most gorgeous Amazon in the world. He acted like I wasn't even that interesting. He wanted to be with the human. Can you believe it? I'm here witnessing his time during his abduction. We're gonna go visit Carolyn. I thought Carolyn would be perfect for this because she knows the area that we're going to. She knows exactly where the wild flock is and I thought she'd actually enjoy it a lot. Oh, let her know we're outside. Oh, we're outside? And you might find a crazy lady in the way. <laughs> Carolyn, we're outside. We want to know if you have any crazy people outside that we can find and help our video go viral. <laughs> Let's call her. Good morning. Are hey. you here? Yeah. So we're here. Do you want to just get in our car? Okay, I'll jump in. Okay, come jump in. Are you serious? She has her birth. What? This is little Faye. Oh! God, I'm gonna bring her this along. This is such a good idea. I think <laughs> she's in her harness, so she's all secured. Faith is a red-headed Mexican Amazon. You can go straight and make a laugh. Hi. She's really sweet. Step up. Oh my God, you're the cutest. Her name is Faith because I found her. Same story like you. I lost precious a ring-necked parakeet and I was looking for him for like probably two, three weeks and and then um, he never showed up and then somebody found her and then I was like, hey, I just lost a parakeet too, but if you don't, like, let me help you find the owner for this parrot, for this Amazon. And he's like, yeah, we have cats and we can't keep her, but we're trying to find the owner. So I tweeted, I put it all out on social media and it turns out that this guy who found Faith found the owner and the owner released her purposely because he didn't want her anymore because Aww. he bit the finger off of um, his kid. So the owner was like, yeah, we don't want this bird. Just keep her. <laughs> he bit the finger off or? No, just like. Um, bit her. Just yeah. bit her. Oh my God. And sick. then I was like, what? So he's like, yeah, you know, if you want, you are the best option because <laughs> you already have an Amazon and you can, you can have her come pick her up today. And I got her including cage and everything. And I call her Faith. I don't have any back history. Don't know where she came from. But the thing is, I know she had an owner because she talks. She says, I want burrito, I want burrito. <laughs> you want a burrito? Oh my God, this is so cute. You're the cutest bird ever. Yeah, and within one week, we just bonded. She started kissing me and she loves it. She has now a boyfriend, Destiny, a yellow double-headed mama. You have a boyfriend? And you're out here with this guy? Oh. And Amazon smells so good. Okay. Here's the thing, a lot of people are like, my Amazon stinks. Really? Yeah, but like, and they're like, what should I do? Cause you say that birds smell so good and I feel like we need to address this. Okay. They don't smell the same as other flowery smelling birds like Picasso. They have like 
I like, think it's more like a stench, but okay. A what? <laughs> a stench. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh! Oh, like that all one Amazon. Okay, make a oh, right. Amazon? Make a right here. We're gonna go to their resting place. Are you serious? They, they're not Amazons. No, but there's one right there. Where? Oh, see. They're all over. If you open the window, you can hear them squawk. Oh, wow. Yep. Yeah. Like crying. Yeah, I can't everywhere. believe it. You're gonna go home. I have never Maybe come across Wild Amazon. I knew they existed and I knew where. Right here is a little park where you can release them. You see, they're all over here. They're all over. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. Why don't you want to go to the Arboretum? The Arboretum is a botanic garden, but they don't rest there. They don't perch there overnight. They sleep right here. They chose this place and they nest here like over like 500 at one time. Okay. You can hear them. They're all yeah. over the place. They are. And if you go That'll to the Arboretum, they are not there. Field, if I go to the Arboretum, they're not there. They're not there. How they're did I know there. that you were the perfect person for this. <laughs> oh my god, let's see his reaction. They're everywhere here, I love yeah, it. They're everywhere. That's all your relatives. Alright, okay. you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Oh my god, I've never. I should have brought my long lens. Hey, can you tell me how I can find a crazy person so I can make my video go viral? <laughs> I think you got to the right place. <laughs> <laughs> On a different note, we're gonna find out exactly where she finds all these people. They just come to me. I don't know. <laughs> like, I feel like I attract them. <laughs> like I don't even have to leave my house and people poop in my garden. <laughs> what? Yeah, I don't even need to look for them. Oh my god. Do you guys hear it? I gotta bring like my brother and sister here. He's already responding. Okay. Yeah, I think we should let him respond a little bit. No, just let him out. He's Before excited. it's too late. He's excited. Just open it and let him like perch first. Yeah, let oh, him buddy. perch. That's it's not him. him. No, he's doing circles around these trees. No, and he's it's not. That's him, maybe. Yeah, no, that's him. <laughs> no, that's you guys are tripping. Yeah, let's get out of here. <laughs> that's him. 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 <laughs> <laughs> he's all over. Oh my God. That's all of them. Let's go. Okay, guys. So. We did the right thing and I'm so happy. Wow! And I can't believe like I'm standing in the middle of like hundreds of wild Amazons. It's just the most beautiful thing. Lucky I have my emotional support bird. <laughs> and lucky I have Carolyn to show me exactly where to go. I couldn't do this alone. Like me and George would have been like, so where the parking lot, where, whoever writing it down. I'm like, Carolyn will know. Trust me on this one. So I'm a bird person. I love birds. She is a bird person. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, subscribe to Carolyn's channel. We had such a good time. Let us know what your favorite part of this video is. You know that's my favorite. Now I'm off to find out exactly how Carolyn finds these crazy people. I'm gonna put this mystery to rest. <laughs>
say, guys, I am not crazy, okay? I am a normal person. I am not a nut job. I am not a nut case. I, I was just protecting my nuts from that crazy lady. <laughs> Hey guys, the Feathered Fun Box is our new subscription box of toys, treats, and other surprises for you and your bird. So don't forget to check the link below and get in on that. And guys, don't forget to check out my new line of organic bird food called Marlene Signature Blend, made with tops. The link is below.